I'm not sure yeah. whether you noticed that I, I was see, losing, I but see. look at this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You get really good at sort of hiding or disguising so I think it's time so I'm, I'm not surprised I'm, with this but I'm surprised yeah. with how long yes. this has to be to cover that's this right. part yeah. yeah so that's what I've been doing mm -hmm. and I think there's a bit on the crown as well uh, mm -hmm. that I've been doing yeah. this uh, so yeah so I think it's it's time welcome <laughs> I've been losing hair for about 10 years now um, now last year I had a friend who shaved his head for the world greatest shave okay. oh you're doing it Oh, I am sorry, Vinny. I have to start <laughs> at some point. <laughs> okay, no. Can we do it? We'll start with number two. Okay. And then if you allow me, I'll really shave. Yep. Yeah, let's do it. And it's nice. You're helping people. You're helping yourself. You can do this. Let's try. Yeah. Let's try. <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> Men have feelings as well. You know, we think only women care about the appearance and... But it's not true, right? I only noticed that you're losing hair because I'm a hairdresser, so obviously I know more about people's hair yeah, than yeah. other people. Yeah. <laughs> Lately, I haven't. I oh haven't really? really? Yeah, I never noticed like that it was thinning. Yeah. Because, you, like you said, you, yeah. you're very good at hiding. Yeah. <laughs> I think the tipping point for me was we we went for a family photo shoot. Mm, okay. And then you know when the photographer sent sent the photos to us. Mm -hmm. I was looking at some photos and I could see my scalp in all the photos. I'm going, okay. oh, time to go. Why are you insecure about, you know, balding? What's the... Hair has always been a big part of my life, you know. I, yeah. I, I used to get compliments about my hair, yeah. you know. I did some modeling as well when I was younger. Obviously, you know, my wife likes my hair as well. Yeah. Um, it's important for me to keep her happy. But. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I think you're gonna notice more when we do the top. Yes. It's gonna be the, yeah. the big part yeah. for you. That's right. So, so it was more recently that you noticed that I was. Yeah. Yeah, thinning. Yeah. Mm. I guess, like you said, it becomes, you know, less, uh, more and more obvious. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Even though you try to hide, you yeah. can only hide so much. Yeah, that's right. And it's really hard when you go. You know, go to the swimming pool, you know, I usually take Eliza to the swimming pool and then I'm always wearing a hat, you know, always yeah. wearing a cap, it can get yeah. really windy. Yeah. So you're always concerned that the wind is going to mess up with your hair and then, yeah, there's all these in really, insecurities. Yeah. And it's, it's funny because women get judged on appearance and things and we think that men Men also get judged on appearance. Men also care about this yeah, thing, they, you know? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, wow. And it's funny because you have a lot of <laughs> facial hair. <laughs> yeah, it's right. Oh, wow. It's happening. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, well, let's see the top. When I get to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if it doesn't look good on number two, we can go number one. Or if, yeah. Oh. Are you ready to get real? <laughs> let's get real. Uh. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> Sorry, Vinny. <laughs> Don't worry, Vinny. <laughs> Apologies if I drop some tears here. No, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, look at this. No more oh. hiding, think, think of that. Freedom. Oh no. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. Sorry. It's time, baby. Oh. What? I know. We need to get a little bit shorter, I think, oh, for the size. Yeah. Oh wow. And guys, look at this. Oops. Ah, so much hair. Like, oh. look how long Vinny's hair yeah. was. was oh long. yeah. Well, I had to cover all this gap here. Oh jeez. Maybe we should just leave this bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. It's interesting, eh? Even though I, it I, is I, I so didn't think... It's so interesting. Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah. 
But it is. But I also think when once we cut the this side a bit shorter, you won't notice this as much. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So this is what a two looks like. Yes. That's bad. It will be better. Oh, that's... I think I think we should go like a zero. I mean a yeah. half, but yeah. I would have been 18 back then. My brother, 15. So we went to see this hair specialist. And when he examined me, you know, he tried to just just pulled some, some hair there. And he was like, oh, it came off really easily. Um, so you, you may need to start treatment, not, not now, but in the near future. So why don't you come back in a couple of years um, and, you know, just, just track it. That was my first sort of exposure to hair and that I more had some, some problems with hair loss. Um, but then I, I started to notice um, at around 22, 23 years of age, I you know, finished uni, two years after finishing uni, I got married. And I think it was just before my wedding that I noticed that I had lost quite a bit of hair and thought about that specialist and said, oh, you know, perhaps it's a good time to, to see someone else and have a second opinion. So I went on with the specialist. I started on... An asteroid. Really early on in my marriage, I remember my wife making some comments about, oh, look how much hair, you know, it's on the floor in the bathroom or, you know, on your, on your pillow. So I went on an asteroid and it really stabilized for, for a while. I didn't notice a lot of hair loss for two, three years. As you do, you just feel like, yeah, perhaps, you know, it's stabilized. I don't have any problems. So I stopped on an asteroid and it was probably three to six months that I started noticing, you know, more shedding. I started getting getting a bit worried. We went on a trip to Thailand in 2013. I would have been 28 years old now. I went to a hairdresser before before the trip to Thailand, you know, got a haircut. It was really short. First day in Thailand, we went in, on the ocean and I wanted to take some photos after, you know, I went for a swim. And there was just no way that I could, you know, disguise my, my scalp and, you know, not, not to show it. And I was like, whoa. That's, that's really changed in you know, a couple of months. That's, that's when I realised, it's like, oh, okay, I've been shedding a bit more now. Did, but did you already know that the, the possible implications of stopping? I, I didn't realise it was that bad. Um, and there was, there's also that initial shedding as well when you start uh, yes. using it. Yeah, there was a bit of a, an initial shedding and then um, stabilised. And I think back then it, it also, you know, grew... Um, some new hair, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And back then, hair was very important for me. Just, you know, when, when I went through uni, for example, like, you know, I got some gigs as, as a model and, and mm. just some kept walk and photos and things like that. So, you know, I had, had long hair, you know, sometimes I would have two ponytails. So hair was, hair was a big thing for me. You know, I remember in my teenage years, you know, just getting some compliments about my hair. So, oh, your hair's so nice. So, so it's, it's always been, you know, part of my identity i guess were you able to you know when you're using the medication because it's daily isn't it were you able to just completely like completely get rid of any sort of like thoughts about it first time for the first block of two or three years i was fine mm. then i stopped when i came back then it was always there right mm. it was always there i remember having my um my brother-in-law visit us um at some point and we were just you know i think shopping and perth is very sunny so you know there was a lot of sun coming through and i, I looked myself in the mirror and i could see my scalp then and, and then my brother-in-law looked at me and said oh you know that's interesting but yeah you know it's been, it's been happening <laughs> that second block of a couple of years that i was on finasteride right, and then i sort of added minoxidil as, as well, uh, not because it was prescribed, just because I was doing some reading and I found the Oxidil and, and bought, on, bought on eBay, then it was it was always there with me. Um, right. Always in the back of my mind. Yeah. yeah. And you're obviously noticing in the pictures, it's hard to kind of conceal that and whatnot. So where does it go from there then? So, you know, I was 30, 30 years of age. I finished my, my PhD, started working. Um, and then, you know, things got 
bit busier and more challenging. You know, there's a lot more stress at some point. It, it was there with me, but it was easy to hide. Yeah. It was not that bad. I got a new position in a sort of a leadership role. And I got invited to this, the largest um, conference in my area of research. And I was invited to, to give a, a talk at that conference, you know, big stage, lots of light. Big lights, yeah. Um, went to have a haircut, really short hair. So I flew to Madrid and there was just no way I was able to hide with styling. You know, back then I was just increasing the amount of, you know, hair wax and, and hairspray. When I went on the stage, there were two huge screens were right next to me, one on each side, and probably another four big screens around the conference room. Lots of people go on stage, and then the light is there. I look at the screen, and I just, I just could see where it's going. Oh, really? <laughs> that was the only thing I could see on that, yeah, on, on that screen. Lots of friends taking photos, and, and, and then after the talk, you know, sending me all those photos, and I was just, I was just horrified with, you know, how much hair I had lost. And the, the only thing that was in my mind was like, when I come back to Perth, I'll just go, you know, really hard on the treatment. And that's exactly what I did. So, you know, just, just kept on doing finasteride and, and, and oxidol. But then I think I got to a point where I was just tired of, of using the medication. I dropped finasteride, kept on using an oxidol. And this has been the last three years, basically. A lot more shedding, a lot more, you know, being uncomfortable with going to the beach, with going to the swimming pool with my daughter, going out, doing outdoor stuff with, with my wife, concerned with the winds, concerned with the lights, and you know, so wearing a lot more caps and, 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 and hats, even you know, to like my daughter's birthday party, which was outdoor and things like that. And that sort of annoys me. Yeah, to the point that I looked at my wife and said, oh, I, think, I think that's it, you know, it's, it's, it's time. Yeah, it's, it's time. You know, there's so many things that are important in my life at the moment. Mm. And sometimes the hair is getting on the way. So if I get rid of it, you know, I'll be free for the other stuff that are really important to me. But that, that's, that's one point. The other point is just being truthful. Stop hiding. You know, I've got this strip of hair on this side that is long, and then I sort of cover the other side. Oh, okay. I want to stop doing that. You, you become really, really good at disguising it. And, um, you know, you, you start with, you know, putting the fringe up there and trying to cover everything. And then as you start losing here at the front, you sort of bring the fringe down. Mm. down. <laughs> it just gets to a point where it's, it's, it's tiring, you know, just the, the routine every morning. And then, you know, minoxidil at night. And, you know, you're, you're supposed to, to do minoxidil in the, uh, twice a day. And I, I only do once because, you know, I'm not going to go with minoxidil to work. And you know, it's, yeah, it's just tiring, the, yeah. the, the yeah. routine. I just need to find something that uh, would make it worth right and then i saw a friend of mine who shaved his head during the the world's greatest shave mm -hmm. to raise funds you know for yeah. the leukemia foundation and i said oh you know perhaps next year it's going to be the time so i'm going to take advantage you know I'm, i do research in, in cancer and i said well it's a perfect time you know i'm going to be working with people with blood cancer there is this, you know, fundraising event called the World's Greatest Shave to raise funds for blood cancer or leukemia. Why not? It's just the, the perfect setting for me just to, you know, jump in, uh, do it, be happy with myself and raise, raise funds to help people. A double good cause. Because a lot of guys will sit on the fence about like actually taking the action. You know, I think, uh, you know, some guys can will say for a, many years, you know, like, no, you know, when it's time, I'm going to do it. I'm going to yeah. do it. And there's never a perfect time, you know, no. but it right. certainly does help if something can coincide with, you know, that could just give you that extra nudge, give you that push over the line. And this is obviously a, a great, a great way to do it. I think it's great. I think it's great you've done. I've had a few guys actually on the channel before have that be the thing. And, you know, I'm sure that there'll be some viewers of you, your YouTube channel that will go like, oh, why, why is this guy shady? He looks like, you know, having a good amount of hair. So if you want me to show you, if I put my finger here and just bring it there, look at that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Good, so you've good work. You know, that is, yeah, yeah. You've, that. you've become yeah. quite skilled at it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So you get this pot here and just put it over there. Yep. Uh, that's it. It's done. <laughs> Are 
actually, like, you know, it's not bad, is it? It's... Nah, it's good. <laughs> oh, right. Nice. Thanks, Drew. You're welcome. That's it, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You must be blinded by the lights. We came to shine here. Watch it look daytime in the night. We bring the vibes here.